morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. It is um, probably around like 2 or 3 p.m. for me. Um, this is my first stop. I'm actually leaving early. I haven't mentioned that yet. Um, so since my older sister is not coming down, uh, I decided, sorry, this is just a really pretty place. So I thought I'd, it's really foggy right now. I stopped here the last time. Uh, I drove through here and it's so cool. Like their, their um, rest center is like this really cool building. Um, and then it overlooks this huge like hill and ravine. Um, I'm here in like Wilmington. I don't know, or not Wilmington, um, <laughs> Maryland. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Um, I'll, I'll record the rest in the car. Give me a second. Okay, right, so as I was saying before, it's probably 3.45 now, actually. Um, I've been driving for a few hours. I left from my mentors at around 12.30. Um, technically, I packed up yesterday. Um, it has been a heck of a week, guys. I wasn't expecting this, but um, just one hit after the other. And so I'm leaving probably six days early to go back to my apartment. Um, I need <laughs> some space to recover that isn't still under the line of fire, if you know what I mean. Like that's a little dramatic, but things have been really tense um, at home. And it's not necessarily that anything huge happened, but like that letter combined with the, just the overall like not feeling super, I mean, Christmas is over. My older sister is not coming. The family celebrations are done. Um, it's a shame. It really is, but it it's much better for me to leave now. It made so much sense, and uh, I was talking to my good friend Kayla, who was in the um, the Chick Fil A vlogs a few weeks ago, and um, she really sorry my car is leaking. <laughs> oh, hello, um, she really encouraged me that like this was the the time to go. Um, it definitely threw my my mentor off guard. I was just like oh, I gotta go, and she's like did, did something happen? Like are you good? And I was like you know that letter combined with my sister not coming there's no point in me staying um it's just it is it is hard um and I don't want to pretend that it's not but I'm taking care of myself and I have the freedom to do that and I'm gonna do the best I can at it um I got myself uh, a matcha latte <laughs> oh, just threw the lid at myself it's empty now it's actually just got uh, a little bit of the matcha left and an apple core from earlier um I'm not feeling super hungry I, I'm still getting over like recovering my hunger and like appetite from the stomach bug. Um, I might stop somewhere for like, you know, Panera soup and something like that. Um, but other than that, I'm just really not feeling anything. Um, I'll feel better soon once I'm back in my apartment, once I've gotten over some of this stuff. Uh, because I think it's just also the level of stress that that sort of family stress dynamic comes with so much like that you just it's, it's not that you can talk about it. It's, it I mean, we talk about it a ton, you know, like my family, we're getting better about being more outright with things, but it's hard like having a healthy balance, right? Like there's talking about it and then there's just getting stuck on it. Um, and it's not that I don't think, like, hopefully we're stuck on it because it was literally just a bomb that was dropped this week. Um, but, you know, I was expecting, you know, another week of time with my family. I was expecting to get to meet my niece yesterday and it just didn't happen. Um, so it's just been one disappointment after another. So um, yesterday, as I mentioned, probably in my last vlog, um, my sister's flight was delayed and they ended up canceling um so she wasn't able to come down and so I haven't seen her in over two and a half years and I've never met my niece but um so it was a huge disappointment I think probably the hardest part honestly because getting coming home that was kind of what I was holding out for right like that was the thing I was like all right if I can just make it till my niece comes like then everything will be okay and of course if you're holding out for something like that there's always going to be disappointment um so yeah, I just made sense to go, so I did. Um, but we spent Christmas, or not Christmas, <laughs> New Year's Eve over at my good friend's house. Um, I recorded a little bit of that, so I'm sure you saw a tiny bit. Um, had lots of really good conversations, stayed up prob definitely too late, probably 2.30 in the morning. Um, and so it was just like really good, but also I'm tired now, in addition to, you know, all the other stuff that's going on and I'm sure that contributes to me not feeling hungry or wanting to do some things and I've just 
you know, not feeling like myself. And I know that there's a lot of reasons for that. Primarily like the stress, but then also getting over that sickness. I'm like pouring water into my water bottle because I just got um, like a refill for my water. Um, there's, it's frustrating. There's a lot of things that are frustrating right now, but I know I have a lot more tools at my disposal to take care of myself better than I have in the past. And I have tons of support back um, where I live out in Columbus. Um, so I'm excited to be back in that environment where I really do thrive instead of um, being stuck in this environment where I'm surviving all the time. It's like I've gone into hibernation and it's hard for me to want to show up. Like, honestly, I'm in, like, sinking into myself mode. Um, so part of me, why don't you leave so bad? <laughs> it's because of that. It was, like, th this morning and last night, it was like I was on fire. And I was like, I just need to get out. I just need to leave. I just need to go back to my place and recover. <laughs> like, uncover this crap, break it down. Um, and then there's a lot of just, like, trying to see good in the hard parts, but also recognize the hard parts for what they are. Um, just honesty, honestly, like radical, brutal, like, hey, this is what's going on. And not in a way that's like always, brutal honesty sounds rough. Like that being, bad things aren't always true. And so there's this like feeling that they should be because they feel worse, but um, brutal honesty is also being honest about the good stuff. So it's, you know, being honest that, you know, the situation is partly good. Um, and it's not the end of the world that this is happening. And I will get through it and I will be okay. And that's hard to remember too. And that's even more uncomfortable sometimes. Um, so yeah, it's been a, it's been a bumpy one, but it's been a bumpy, bumpy one. I can't even talk. That's how tired I am. Um, do you guys ever find yourself treating um, yourself the way other people have treated you in the past to kind of fill in that void of them not being around anymore? Because I can relate to that. Um, it's hard. It's it's really hard to allow yourself to just be alone and allow yourself to just be without trying to, you know, distract yourself or even just the way you think about yourself or talk to yourself, the way that other people have talked about you. You have to really filter that because they only knew one part of you. And honestly, that you're more and more complex than just one aspect. But yeah, I haven't had too crazy of a day today. I uh, just had pancakes this morning. Then, sorry, someone's like wandering outside. I'm like kind of freaked out. Um, it's a beautiful view. I can't really blame them for, for looking at it. So <laughs> no shame in that. Um, but... Yeah, pretty chill this morning. Just had some pancakes with my friend and um, hung out with her. Her name's Caroline, and she's really cool. Um, then just a slower morning. Everybody was taking forever to wake up. I love them, but like I was antsy to leave, and I didn't want to be rude, and I didn't want to wake everyone up, so I just waited. Um, and then I went over to my mentors, picked up my coffee grinder that I forgot, dropped off the spare key. Um, and then hit the road, and so I've been driving ever since. Um, I haven't really gotten my podcast to play so well, so I've been listening to Japanese lessons instead of just, like, chill, like, music or other things, which is good. I just got kind of, like, sen not sensory overload, but just, like, information overload. My brain's working a little too hard, and I'm not rested enough for it, so it's good. It's good practice, but <laughs> a little tired, um... I don't know. I feel like I had more to talk about, but I kind of forgot now. Um, but I'm really glad that I get to drive myself home and it's not, you know, too, too hard to find that space for myself. Um, I should probably eat sometime soon, but um, I want to. We'll see if it happens. Um, yeah, I just got to focus on getting there safely and resting and taking breaks and all that good stuff. So I'll probably, now that I'm saying it, now that I'm saying it and I have the video rolling, I am going to go put pan, uh, Panera Bread in the Google Maps so that I actually go there <laughs> instead of just talking about it. Um, but yeah, thanks for uh, following along with my crazy adventure. Um, nothing too crazy so far, but uh, as far as today, it has been a crazy week. It has been a bit of a bumpy one, which is part of why these vlogs have been not necessarily shorter, but not as much content of what's going on in my day. 
a lot of it I don't really feel comfortable sharing a ton of and obviously me like vomiting into a bucket not really something to put on the internet um so yeah just like I'm thriving <laughs> that's I can't quite say that I'm surviving but I'm getting out of survival mode soon um and part of that is going to be going and getting some food so catch you guys later I'll mention really quick that I'm so thankful for my dad for helping me to get my car all set. Um, my dad for helping me scare off the creeps that were kind of messing me, with me at the Wawa that we got the gas at. And I want to thank my good friend Kayla for being such a supportive friend and helping me out, not just in word, but in actions as well. So um, it is time for me to go. I'm ready. And I just hope that I get her safe. So, so I just stopped for Chick-fil-A instead of going to Panera because... I've had multiple projects with Chick-fil-A now. I feel like I owe them that. Plus, the nearest Panera was like two hours away and I was hungry. Um, this was a weird Chick-fil-A experience though. There was no one standing in there in the drive-thru taking my order. It was a machine. So I was like, is this McDonald's? And, oh gosh. Nobody said my pleasure when I said thank you. I was like, okay. And they did use my name, so that was cool. They still do that. Um, McDonald's uses numbers usually. I don't know why I know all of this, but... Okay, I know why. I've taken multiple classes now. Very, very different um, feeling than normal Chick-fil-A's. And I was kind of, like, surprised. And again, paper cups, I was not too surprised by that now. But I don't know. I think I'm in... I think I'm in Maryland still. I don't know what's up with these Maryland ones. The last time I went, there was... It was cool. They were all wearing t-shirts, though. Like, not a uniform, like t-shirts. <laughs> so, had lots of different Chick-fil-A experiences. But this one was different in that... There was no one standing there taking the order, and it felt very, um, not Chick-fil-A for that. So, I don't know. Random observation, now that I'm way overly knowledgeable about Chick-fil-A. But, I haven't even worked there. <laughs> I've just done so many projects studying them. Um, but yeah. We are going, we have probably four and a half hours of driving left to go. It's gonna be a late one. I don't usually like driving this late. But, it is what it is, so, you know, I'll figure it out. I should be getting to my apartment around 9-ish, so we should be fine, but kind of annoying leaving this late. Um, wasn't really in my control, because, you know, Christmas, or th uh, New Year's and staying up super late, and then, like, family things. You want to be able to, like, be respectful of everyone, say goodbye, but it is annoying leaving this late. And I also, you know, I don't have a schedule. I don't have, like, a, I need to get there at a certain time, so... There's no worries, no pressure on that, so... But yeah, that is where we're at.